Hey guys, this is Alex Sturgeon with the Hobbytown Hobbyplex for another quick how-to video using our Traxxas Slash. So we've gone over uh, replacing the motor, replacing the servo, uh, adjusting the gear mesh. Um, I thought it'd be a nice video to do uh, the functionality of your of your uh, XL5 speed controller. And uh, so today we're going to go over um, how to put it into the three different modes: uh, the regular, sport, and trainer mode. And, uh, or I should say sport, racing, and trainer mode, and then how to change it from uh, lipo to nickel metal or vice versa, okay? So uh, first off, we'll turn the radio on. Should always turn the radio on first. And we'll turn the car on like that. So right now it's in nickel metal hydride mode with the light being red. Uh, we got a lipo in here, so we don't want to drain it down all the way, so we're gonna put it into the lipo mode. Um, it's really easy. Once you have it on, you just hold your easy set button down and then you wait patiently. Haha, -ha, there it is. Now the light's green and it's ready to go on LiPo. Common mistake that people make is they read the instructions, the instructions say 10 seconds, they push it and then they actually count 10 seconds and it doesn't change over because they let go of the button too quick. So you gotta actually wait for that little beep, beep, beep and the light to change. So. Now that it's in lipo mode, we'll uh, we'll shut her off, and then we'll uh, um, put it into its uh, different modes. We're gonna go right straight to trainer mode. So uh, let's say you got your young uh, person who wants to drive this, but you don't want them to break a bunch of stuff. So uh, we're gonna take it from its full throttle mode to its half power mode. And uh, what we'll do is we'll turn it on, but we're gonna keep holding that button down. And we're gonna wait for this light to flash three times. So there's one, there's two, there's three. So now we're back into trainer mode. It's only half power. So we'll shut it off again. This time we're going to put it into race mode where it doesn't have reverse. So you hold it, push, turn it on, but you hold, keep holding it down. And now we're going to wait for it to flash twice. There it is. There's the two times. So now we have full throttle but no reverse so if you're racing stock slash or something like that um, at the local racetrack and they don't let you use reverse that's a good way to shut it off the other thing about this too um, when reverse is on a lot of guys that, that we race we like to pump our brakes a little bit in the corners well if you have reverse on that second pump actually engages reverse and it can uh, spin you out and make you wreck so if you're racing it's good to just have reverse off so you can take uh, full use of the brakes that are on the car so now we're going to put it back to reverse so that uh, we can have it for Rocket League later on this week. So we're going to do it again. We're going to hold it down and we're just going to wait for it to flash once. There we go. Now we have reverse and you're good to go. If, if you ever get your radio out of sync or if you get a new uh, controller um, and you need to realign it with your speed controller, uh, so it knows the endpoints on your radio. This is how we're going to do it, okay? We'll shut her off. Hold on to your radio. We're going to hold it down again. And this time, as soon as it changes over to red, we're going to let go. It's going to flash once. You give it full throttle. Flashes twice, full brake. And then you let go. And now we're here. And now its endpoints are known and good to go. That's it, that's all the functionality of your XL5 speed controller on your Traxxas cars. Um, thanks for tuning in, we'll hope to do another how-to video for you soon. Thanks.